The sneaker flipping business attracts hustlers of all ages, from the schoolyard and the streets to online marketplaces. Sneaker enthusiasts connect over their passion for fashion and make a quick buck. They are entrepreneurs who buy sneakers and flip them. Since sneakers become inflated goods, they generate revenue per sales transactions. You have to be experts in identifying what sneakers would perform well in the secondary market and when to sell. You must also know the supply of high demand or the most coveted sneakers, which will help you build your market or audience. Don't worry. If you want to start out sneaker reselling, you have the best opportunities with our Cook Group. Our website monitors automatically calculate the profit of thousands of sneakers every single day and will post a message in our Cook Group once they find a profitable sneaker. They will save you a lot of time doing the research yourself. We have created an algorithm that shows exactly how much expected profit each pair of sneakers will make you and how many times per month it will sell. This minimizes the risk of losing your money by investing in the wrong pair of sneakers. Click the link in the video description to learn more about how you can increase your profits as a brick flipper. Bricks can be brought from retailers or manufacturers and then resold for 20 to 30% profit. And when the purchase happens at a discount, the shoes can be sold immediately for more profits. The first thing to consider for brick flipping is buying your inventory to resell sneakers and this is arguably the most important part of the sneaker reselling business as it impacts your profit margin directly. First, you have to know where to buy your inventory. Second, you want to avoid buying the wrong stuff that you will not be able to resell. Let us consider a few things for you to be aware of. Step 1 is building up your inventory by purchasing from manufacturers and retailers. It is important to keep an eye on certain apps. Good retailer apps to monitor are Adidas, Adidas Confirm, and SNKRS, Nike. Bear in mind that this may be the most difficult part of building up your inventory. Quantities are limited, and the demand is high, because many people are starting to capitalize on the sneaker reselling opportunity. Step 2 is to consider the sneaker community aftermarket. Fortunately, there are several sneaker industry apps to assist you here as well, like Goat, Sneaker, StockX, and eBay. Step 3. Explores online sneaker shops in the sneaker game. Other resellers, Instagram pages, Facebook groups, and Reddit to find additional inventory. One reason why you would want to resell quickly is if you determine there is a high stock supply. If there is a huge supply, then you will want to be the first to the market with those sneakers before other resellers. If you have ever tried to resell sneakers on the platforms like StockX, then you can see how quickly the amount of supply can add up. As a result of high supply, resellers begin to undercut each other in an effort to quickly offload their sneakers. This drives prices down quickly. In turn, that could throw you into the negative if the resale price drops below the retail price that you paid. And that is why you should quick flip those bricks. Also, if the asking price for a sneaker is below or slightly above retail before the release day, then you will want to resell those sneakers as quickly as possible. Ideally, you want to shoot for at least 30% profit margin when running a business. However, when it comes to sneaker reselling, it is mostly about selling in volume. So getting a $20 or $30 profit off a sneaker is reasonable. The bottom line about brick flips at the end of the day, flipping bricks can be profitable if you're able to secure enough of them and sell them all for a small profit. Many resellers will quickly flip bricks for a small profit compared to holding them because less of their money will be tied up for future investment. It's a great way to make a couple of hundred dollars by buying a lot of a certain sneaker and just simply selling it for $10 or $20 above what you paid for. If you're not a member of Brick Radar, figuring out which sneakers are good brick flips can be difficult. By becoming a member of Brick Radar, you always get notified when to buy which shoe and when is the right time to sell for maximum profits. Click the link in the video description to learn more about Brick Radar. With Brick Radar, you can actually start making money today if you're looking for a great tool that's going to help you in your journey on reselling shoes, or if you're just looking for the tools to help you get started in the reselling game. Honestly, you've come to the right place, so hopefully this is everything you needed to hear to get started with your sneaker reselling career. Go ahead and sign up today to start making profits.